we started so last class we discussed about a uh, servers and uh, the services okay so here it is the basic peer to peer model peer to peer me model means it's a work group model okay it means there is a two or more pcs are there they are communicating each other but no pc is a server no pc is a particular server particular server is not there but in a server and client model server is a server web server web server can be a client for any other servers but web server it is a name is a web server dhcp server dns server it is a server which provide a service to the clients server provide a service to the client exactly say client request for a service to the server client request i want a web page i want a ip address i want a ip address for this particular domain name i want a vpn connection i want a operating system download okay i want to install a operating system in this one wds services client request to the server 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 will provide a service okay so that is what i am trying to say here it is okay next model is different type of servers we have discussed web servers file servers dhcp server dns servers act to directory domain controllers okay authentication servers wds servers it's a deployment servers mail servers vpn servers virtualization servers storage servers uh, database servers not only those servers guys there are lot of servers are there lot of different type of uh, uh, servers are there so any anything you calling it as a server means it is providing it is providing a service print server print server is also there you know it's a print server is there here it is uh, uh, we can say different type of operating system support for a server purpose like a windows server operating systems are there linux operating system is there unix operating systems are there so if you install those operating system in the hardware the the system become a server or we can install server applications in it or we can enable certain services based on the server for example you take a windows server and you want to make it as a dhcp server so you have to install the dhcp role in it okay dhcp role in it you want to make it as a uh, update server you have to install the update role in it you have a linux pc linux server is there you want to make it as a web server install a uh, install a uh, small package called a, a httpd package or a tomcat package inside okay so like that you can make a the server operating system either built in or by installing a package or an application it will provide service there is a built in packages are built in roles and features by built in roles and features or by built in roles and features or a built in a, a serve uh, what we can say by installing some applications for example exchange server this is a mail server exchange server is a mail server it is an application zimra is an application zimra is a application tomcat is an application httpd is an application okay so like that in either it is based on a features or maybe built in feature or by installing a package or an application okay we can do it in a server operating systems by installing by enabling certain feature or maybe installing certain roles packages or an application the your server become a particular server 
Okay, so what it is the use of this are our OSS. It supports that kind of stuff. Okay. Next is a hardware based. Generally, it is not. We cannot say server hardware. Server hardware means the processor, RAM, motherboard, their uh, cooling system, ride cards. All this comes under uh, uh, server uh, server hardware. But here it is. When you want to build a data center. Are you, it depends upon you, your requirements. So you can purchase different type of servers. And the meaning is the direct hardware part. Like you are purchasing a laptop or a desktop or a mobile phone. Similarly, you can purchase a server. Okay, we can purchase a server. Like you are purchasing a desktop. You are, if you are in case you are purchasing a desktop, so what is the purpose of desktop and laptop? Laptop is a mobility device. Anywhere you can able to take it easily. So you can take the laptop, put it in a bag, and you can carry your laptop along with you. But in case of desktop, you cannot carry like that. You have to fix into a one single location, right? I am usually roaming from uh, one place to another place. Uh, Pune to Hyderabad, Hyderabad to Vishakhapatna, Vishakhapatna, Pune. Like I keep roaming. Uh, like and in a in office also. Like a home office, home office. Sometimes I have to do some work in my home and uh, how to do work in uh, office also. So mobility requirement. So I choose laptop. I choose laptop. Of course, I have my own desktop is there. So what is the purpose of desktop in my home? Uh, it's OK. It is because it's uh, my desktop is for usually playing games. Watching uh, small, small movie uh, movies, online movies, right? Uh, Netflix, Amazon is there. Uh, Disney Hotstar is there. So better to watch in a big screen instead of laptop. So I have a uh, that sound system because instead of monitor, I use the TV. You can normally when you are uh, into the computer, so then we purchase a monitor. Monitor cost is around four to six thousand, right? So the average monitor cost. So higher cost is also there, but minimum cost is more than four thousand. More than four thousand, four five five thousand. You have to invest. I purchase a, a TV, uh, which is I got it by six thousand only. Okay, with the uh, speakers, built-in speakers, HD monitor. Okay, very basic HD monitor, and not uh, that some different HDs are there. No, 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 not full HD. It is a just a HD monitor. That that, that fulfilling my purpose. My purpose is good. Okay, <laughs> instead of uh, monitor, I purchase it. Point is, get what is the purpose? Purpose, use, place, space. Based on that, you choose the hardware, right? Like a tower server. Tower server is. Is look like your desktop only. The desktops are actually earlier days. It is sat on a desk. Okay. In generally, world style uh, desktop. Desktops. Uh, world style desktop. Um, I, now it shows all new parts like this. These are the towers kind of stuff. Okay. So I'm not talking about a server. It is I'm talking the way it is stand. It is called as towers. You know, in a olden days, these towers are uh, is almost like a flat type, like this. Okay, it's, it's a flat part. Means this on desktop, on your uh, table. Desktop means on your table. You can put it. So actually, not like this. Also, they put a flat on. Okay. But later on days, it is uh, become more uh, complex uh, because more height. Uh, it is uh, uh, monitor uh, getting more, more height. So then uh, little discontinue. Only few models still available in some companies, but uh, mostly we are getting this kind of towers only. OK, this kind of uh, towers only. So this is called a, a tower a desktop uh, uh, kind of stuff. But when you are going to server kind of stuff, tower servers, so small business form factor desktop, it is uh, 12th gen core 8 GB kind of stuff. 
yeah this is a xen processor it is a so what is the difference between this tower server to this tower server type and desktop in a normal desktop you have a processor ram motherboard a hard disk okay ssds connection but in the servers in the server raid controllers raid controllers are there nas uh, a kind of san kind of support uh, fiber optical connections so different type of uh, connections we can able to it some servers are having a uh, multiple cpus we can able to insert it and uh, like this a powerful cpu powerful ram multiple ram slots are there normally nowadays the desktops are having a uh, two uh, ram slots but servers will get a uh, more than two means four eight ram slots also possible okay so this is a tower server it is a tower model next one is a rack mount server rack server or a rack mount server i didn't put a pictures uh, in this one if i put it that is look good but it's, it is a, an example of rack server it is in this data center he is inserting a rack server so i said they based on the, our requirement based on our requirement uh, we choose the rack server or a blade server or a tower server for example in my home i want to build a server just i want to be, make a uh, one uh, uh, server hardware is required i want to practice uh, virtualization related uh, kind of stuff i need a um, good processor a high ram like a 16 gb or a 32 gb ram uh, as a requirement is there storage requirement is there i don't know so i don't want to give a services to anyone just for my uh, organization for a practice students for me myself or like that so tower is easy you can go and purchase a tower easily like this you can purchase a tower okay it's very costly it is it's around uh, 4 lakhs rupees okay <laughs> i don't know what it what the people are giving to this is see these are all uh, 10 terabyte of sata 6 gb 6 gb ps it is speed 10 terabyte each day sata days we can able to insert it there is some uh, uh, fiber optic connections i think it is so power sir, connection uh, hello you yeah, tell me sir what is uh, sata 10 tb uh, 10 tb sata actually what uh, it means hard disk uh, connections uh, like uh, we have a pata parallel ad uh, parallel advanced technology attachment this is sata model now almost all our hard disk are a sata based models because i didn't take in a hardware part right so that's why uh, uh, so that okay very good sata is a, a hard disk uh, connecting 10 terabyte means 10 terabyte is like we have a 1 terabyte 2 terabyte uh, hard disk yeah, size I, is there so, uh, actually yeah, you have said that sata is a model yeah right uh, right so it is what it uh, include what is the specific name sata means serial advanced technology attachment so uh, if you go to the uh, picture you can see it is it is a sata based connections are look like this sata so sata power sata data cable is going to here okay, okay. but okay. when you are uh, going like this so i am i'm showing so sata pata is a difference see can you see this so many pins are there here almost 40 pins are there here not almost it's a 40 pin connector it is a pata p a t a parallel advanced technology attachment parallel advanced technology attachment okay so how it is connected uh, pata connection I, i put a pata first of all pata is a holder pata id holder one uh, pata um, mb connection motherboard um, no, 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 no. this is hard disk generally internal pata of hard disk it is internally regular hard disk is like this
okay so this is uh, logic board this is the logic board and here it is you can see the pins so uh, this is pata parallel advanced technology attachment how it is connect uh, pata cable so you can search also pata cable to uh, motherboard so this is the pata cable you can see the ribbon cable using this ribbon cable will connect uh, your uh, hard disk to motherboard <coughs> like this so this is the hard disk and this is the motherboard but actually is connecting sata cable so we can see the pata cable also like this this is the pata cable okay so this is the pata uh, pins on the motherboard so we'll connect it so same thing will go for a sata cable serial advanced technology see this is a sata cable okay so it is a seven pin cable serial cable type so that we can connect like this interface changes and uh, sata is a faster than pata sata is a faster than pata pata okay so this is a sata hard disk okay in a hard disk also two variants are there <coughs> 3.5 2.5 3.5, 2.5, SATA hard disk. 3.5 hard disk are for uh, desktops. For a desktop, okay. 3.5 is for a desktop. It required a 12 volts uh, power supply, compulsory. Okay, so 3.5. Next one is. 2.5 2.5 hard disk you can use it for a um, uh, you can use it for a not, not a cable it is so 2.5 inches is for usually for laptops 3.5 for a desktop 2.5 for a laptops Lap also yeah also you can use it for a mini uh, mini desk mini pcs are there mini pieces okay that is also use 2.5 okay and also if you have a any 2.5 uh, hard disk okay 2.5 hard disk you can purchase arrangement like this you can use it as a external hard disk also okay external hard disk also that is a possibility is there uh this is called ssd nowadays we are uh, uh, more with ssds right so this is ssd in ssds there is a two type of interfaces this is sata interface again ssd also like a hard disk we store the data ssd but it is costlier costlier than a normal hard disk okay ssd are faster and costly and lightweight also and it can easily carry anywhere so there is a uh, this is the ssd example of ssd this is sata interface and other type of interface is there so this is m.2 interface this is m.2 interface this is directly mo mold on motherboard directly we will put it on a motherboard like this see it is this is the motherboard i <coughs> it is it is connected like this directly on motherboard no wiring is required so this is faster uh, usually for uh, most of the people ask me like uh, sir uh, um, instead of hard disk uh, i i am uh, uh, adding ssd you are having a old laptop and you have a old uh, uh, hard disk so your hard disk is not working properly uh what you do so you remove the hard disk and inserting a ssd to make it as a much faster no use guys okay no use better to buy a hard disk only so why because of the cost varies because uh, the hard disk i showed earlier that is not, not this one right ssd where is normal ssd 
दिस इज अ नॉर्मल एस एस डी दिस इज साटा इंटरफेस साटा इंटरफेस अगेन यू हैव टू कनेक्ट दिस एस एस डी विथ वाइड्स द वायरिंग द एनहेंसमेंट इज डिफरेंट इट इज लेसर फास्टर देन एम डॉट टू इट इज फास्टर देन रिमेंबर गाइस नॉट रिमेंबरिंग सो समवेयर वी हैव टू राइट to so yeah, i'll put it somewhere like uh, i have to take a, a storage class separately but just first of all pata interface sata interface pata hard disk sata hard disk now ssd sir came in ssd sata interface and m.2 m.2 model so the ssds are called a uh, nand memories like your pen drives okay nand memories also it is nv m m e okay so as per the pata type of hard disk it is slower than sata so sata is a faster than pata parallel so uh guys this is the friend inti integrated device electronic integrated device electronic uh, development environment another one is ide development environment so in layer hard disk connection sata or pata sata or pata is a ide based connections only so when our the pata came so it is little development but still it is a ide based parallel advanced technology so actually say actually say it is ata technology ATA. Oh yeah, what I am doing? Advanced technology attachment. So ID is developed into ATA. ID is base technology. ID is developed into ATA. Advanced technology attachment. It is become a hard disk class today, but no problem. Not only dot, it will also cover so many things. parallel uh, parallel ata it's very simple parallel advanced technology attachment serial ata serial advanced technology attachment okay so because we are in the names okay also i want to give the little names so these are all dash type storages means directly we are attaching this Uh, uh storage means connecting hard disk so sata actually it is contains it is a 40 pin connector so it is a, we are using data cable is 7 pin connector okay so compared to if in your comparison sata is a faster than pata you know there is a sata new version is sata Three is a six Gbps data speed. It is means the connectivity speed, not at a read and write speed. It is a connectivity six Gbps. That's why when you see it is uh, uh, it is showing six Gb, six Gb. That is a data connecting speed. Okay. So next. <coughs> Uh, again sata pata next uh, type of hard disk is ssd 
SSD to normal hard disk, lot of difference is there. SSD to normal hard disk, lot of difference is there. What is the difference? <coughs> Normal hard disk contain normal hard disk contain uh, platters uh, kind of stuff inside platter logical board and all. The SSD does not contain any platter kind of stuff. Magnetic material or nothing is there inside. Okay, it is a very lightweight, no magnetic materials. It is uh, store the data into the chipset only, not in the uh, magnetic uh, disk. Okay, so SSD is a faster than. SSDs are faster than normal SATA hard disk and it is lightweight and it is a lightweight easy to carry very lightweight very faster than a normal hard disk but little costlier than a normal hard disk. Yes, this is also having SATA interface and M.2 interface M.2 is directly it sits on the motherboard okay not required any se uh, separate wiring to connect it sata either it, if it is a laptop directly it will connect it if it is not a laptop it won't connect it. that's a simple okay so if it is a desktop on desktop sata again sata ssds you need a wiring okay m.2 uh, we don't require a wiring even it is a desktop it directly we can connect on the desktop on motherboard so when you are purchasing SS, ssd which type of ssd you are purchasing okay so if you your motherboard having a m.2 interface better to buy m.2 you are purchasing latest computer so latest desktop you are purchasing purchase m.2 why because all latest one are maybe having a m.2 maximum m.2 will be there so otherwise verify uh, verify the uh, motherboard specification then purchase m.2 why m.2 why i'm promoting m.2 m.2 is a read and write faster than sata ssd this is faster than this this is faster than this this is faster than this okay right. so this two are useful for uh, uh, both uh, technologies or a uh, dash type technologies means we attach directly we are connecting into desktops uh, directly connected internally internal to the system it is server or a uh, desktop operating it is a server or a normal desktop or laptop these hard disk are internal hard disk only another type is SCSI small computer from interface okay next is iSCSI nowadays we are not much using the SCSI part okay we are going to iSCSI so internet yes yes sir. okay what is this small computer system interface the small computer system interface uh, it is a kind of uh, adapter like a LAN card is there no same thing it is a kind of adapter on your server so we can connect multiple desktop multiple hard disk okay so very simple idea it is SCSI is interface to the server exactly see it is a adapter what is the purpose of it you can connect so we can connect a uh, uh, different kind of stuff so like uh, uh, yeah we will uh, we'll dedicate it to storage today this uh, uh, SCSI is an interface to the servers it's a kind of adapter we can connect uh, multiple SCSI disk. SCSI disk means it's a kind of hard disk only. It's a hard disk, so it's a SCSI model hard disk. SCSI disk or a SCSI hard disk. So it is easy. 
So why we need a bracket center? It's a SCSI hard disk. SCSI CD-ROM or a writer. You connect a CD-ROMs, CD writers, multiple devices. We can able to connect them. Multiple devices, multiple things we can able to connect. Okay. As the printers, as the scanners, SCSI printers, SCSI scanners are there. Next, SCSI is hot swappable. What is hot swappable? Anybody? What is hot swappable? What is hot swappable? Okay, so here it is. Uh, what is cold swappable? What is hot swappable? means <coughs> when uh, when when you want to connect <coughs> or uh, disconnect a device in a system example Hard disk. You want to connect a hard disk. Example, you want to connect hard disk. What you will do? So you want to connect a hard disk, or you want to remove the hard disk, or maybe an IC card, like a LAN card, or Ethernet card, or you want to change the CPU, or you want to change the RAM, like this. Okay. So what you will do is, so when you are connected or a disconnected device in a system, okay, it is required to power down the system first. First you have to power down the system, connect. Or a disconnect. What is that noise? Okay. Connected to power down. So first of all, required to power down the system. Then do the <coughs> then connect. Or disconnect. Then check the power on later. And power. Okay, so it is a very simple to understand. So I want to change the hard disk. Okay, first of all, I have to power on the system and open the cabinet. Sorry, power off the system. Open the cabinet. Remove it. Uh, uh, re remove the connections. Connect it back. Close the computer and power on. So this is called a power. Okay, so exactly say what is closed swappable? We cannot. Connect or a disconnect devices in system while machine means system only machine running. So that is called a cold swappable. That is called a cloud swappable. 
Now, what is hard strappable? Hard strappable is a reverse of cold strappable. Everybody knows uh, hard strappable example also. Connect or disconnect a device uh, devices. So system or in system or a machine. Uh, uh, not required. Or off. Okay. Not required to or off. Examples. USB. Best example USB connections. Anything you connected to USB. Pen drives. External hard disk. That's it's a USB based. Okay, USB based. USB based printers. All external devices. Okay, uh, cams. Yeah, with these are all so many other devices also there. So which we are mostly we are connecting to USB. Universal serial bus. What is USB? Universal serial bus we can connect you know in the olden days we have a ps by 2 uh, ps by 2 keyboard okay uh, uh, maybe you have seen or not i don't know but i am trying to show you ps by 2 keyboard or a mouse keyboard or a mouse this is a, this is the ps by 2 keyboard or mouse you can see this is the ps by 2 okay so in those days like this this is the normal keyboard is keyboard only the connection is ps by 2 okay so like this is the uh, connection so if you don't connect it when you are starting computer you didn't connect it uh, or something issue is there you power on your system system is power on and you connect a keyboard or keyboard is not working you want to change the keyboard so you, you disconnect the keyboard and connect the new keyboard. And new keyboard won't detect. OK, OK, so when after power on the system, you connect a device, it won't detect either keyboard or a mouse. OK, most mouse is a most dangerous uh, uh, one because it's always not working. In that the earlier days we have a trackpad kind of stuff means inside there is a ball. OK, so obviously uh, the usage and the dust, both, both usage and as well as the dust, the mouse is uh, damaged. The mouse cost is also around uh, 350, uh, more than 300, 300, 400, 500, 600. Costly mouse. OK, so later this uh, laser based mouse is came, light uh, LED mouse are came, uh, but that at that time it is very dangerous. And of course, there is a cheap mouse is also came because of China market uh, is started now. So um, almost like uh, uh, it's a, at a time of. Atul Bihari Vajpayee only that time only the China market is much open for uh, in India. So uh, these mouses, uh, cheap mouses are came into the market. So that's a lot of money saved because you buy a mouse for, with 100 rupees or 500 rupees same performance both will be damaged after two three months okay so the ps by two what happened your mouse is not working you want to change the mouse okay so you have to disconnect it connect the mouse you have to disconnect the mouse, uh, mouse connection and connect it or keyboard ps by two connect it or a disc first disconnect it and connect the new one and restart your computer restart your computer okay so that's the uh, big headache we face. This is the motherboard connection. Still, there is a certain motherboards are providing this kind of connectivity. But this thing is happily replaced. Earlier days, we, we thought it is a new thing is very dangerous. Like a, a USB is more danger. Why? Because it's a, one port will be already occupied. That is another reason. So we don't prefer the USB type. So we prefer the PS by 2. 
we don't know we have we assumption is there like a usb won't work properly <laughs> okay but usb universal serial bus okay so what is the advantage of it when system is running you can connect the keyboard or you can connect the printer you can connect the mouse anytime you can connect it okay anything you can connect it anytime you can connect it when system is running okay you can connect and disconnect it okay next the greatest thing is the usb actually uh, developed by our uh, indian only is is belongs to india that's it not in india not in indian lab but it is developed by india not in india so that a lot of difference is guys indian is different the uh, uh, indian origin is different indian is different indian origin is different invented in india is different okay invented by indian is different okay do not confuse with that words okay uh, uh, okay so that's the thing uh, of course the the organization uh, who claims there are invented a usb thing actually um, why because the, why there are climbing uh, because it's, it's they provide a environment uh, for a usb there is a lot of different uh, usb source are there usb a type connection b type connection c type connection okay so it's a revolution so before usb there is a fire wire fire wire okay fire wire is also limited connectivity and uh, when a firewire one is launched compared to usb firewire is a better and firewire two is launched compared to usb two uh, to firewire firewire two usb is better and then firewire is stop development okay yeah that's the point guys here it is where are we this one it is hot swap so SCSI disk are hard swappable. So anytime you can connect or a disconnect. Anytime you can connect or a disconnect. So I'm continuing this topic only. And just I want to put here, that's it. Anytime you can connect or a disconnect. Uh, of course. I have a uh, particular things are there. Okay. So points are there is a certain uh, challenges of a, a normal uh, um, uh, hard disk connectivity or device connectivity. What are the challenges are there? Normal hard disk we can connect one or two through maximum four connections we can date. It is number of. connectivity number of days okay number of days means multiple days we can able to connect it and it is hard swappable multiple devices we can able to connect it so number of days we can connect so it is a very good for a storage solutions so you want to see the pictures like a SCSI. Okay, so this is a SCSI adapter. Can you see? So SCSI adapter directly you can connect it to the motherboard. And this is the external connection and there is a internal connections also there. Internal and external connections. See this is the for ex external SCSI cable. This is the uh, exact uh, uh, Symbol C it is it is adapter internally hard disks are connected, but externally see CD RAM scanners printers are connected. So both internally and externally to the server we can able to connect it. This is a easy to understand picture. Okay, guys, that is about your SCSI. What is SCSI? Small computer system interface. Okay. Uh, because one question lead uh, another thing okay what is the 10 terabyte of SATA 
so we'll come back okay next scuzzy basic interface scuzzy interface earlier is a pata interface only or a ide interface only okay so scuzzy interface earlier uh sata or a pata interface okay so that is just a scuzzy scuzzy uh, SATA interface, SATA type of interface, you know, it is called a SAS. SAS. What is SAS? Attached SCSI. Okay, serial attached SCSI, SAS disk. So don't get a doubt, guys. SAS means SCSI disk only. SCSI type of disk, SCSI, old SCSI are having a, the pin connectivity. So SCSI disk. Okay, it is having a, a like this, PATA type of interfaces only. It's a power cable and it is a PATA interface. So this is the case, out, outer line, you can see this is case for pull, uh, uh, insert and uh, pull up, pull out kind of stuff just to to pull in a pull out uh, kind of stuff means pushing pulling for inserting and uh, removing okay so this is a, a scuzzy drive uh, another uh, interface another type of uh, interface okay so like this scuzzy uh sas interface we'll try okay see it is the big one not as a our sata type okay this is regular sata this is regular sata this is scuzzy sata okay regular sata is different scuzzy sata is different so so serial attached Earlier SCSI interface is different. Okay, so IDE uh, part or type of interfaces are there, like a ribbon cable. But here it is. Okay, uh, serial attached uh, storage is like a serial connection is there. So it is a SATA hard disk only. Only interface is changed. So you can try what is a serial versus uh, SAS versus SATA kind of stuff. Okay and some other information also can able to get it i have seen directly how the sata uh, means uh, old style uh, uh, scuzzy thing okay so i have seen this kind of part that's it i scuzzy internet scuzzy internet scuzzy is different from normal scuzzy like it is not like this Internet SCSI is nothing but a, a virtual SCSI type it is. Exactly stay. There is a storage bay. There is a storage bay. iSCSI box. Like this. This is the iSCSI box. Okay. These are the iSCSI boxes. So it is not required to, it is directly not required to connect the servers. It is a kind of a storage way. Internet SCSI. A kind of storage bay. Bay means like a bay of Bengal. Okay, like a Bay of Bengal. It's a kind of stuff. Okay, storage bay means uh, uh, it contains very simple. A box is there. There is a box. Okay, I can take a picture from there, but I want to tell like this. Okay, so there is a box. So 
So in this box, there is a slot store insert. There is a slots are there. So then we can able to insert a hard disk into this slots directly. So you don't require to connect any uh, uh, adapters to the motherboard. OK, so there's a direct slots are there. You can insert the hard disk. It contains its own motherboard. OK, it contains internally. OK, internally there is a motherboard is there. OK, and also we can connect it to the network. We can connect it to the network directly. You can connect to the network directly. OK, so what happened? You want to access any disk from remote server, you can easily access. See, look at here. So this is my uh, storage server. This is my uh, storage server. OK, so what storage server will maintain this iSCSI box? And uh, we can decide uh, about this iSCSI box. You, uh, do you want to use it like a iSCSI? Do you want to use it like a uh, iSCSI protocol? Or you want to make it as a SAN? Or you want to make it as a NAS also? We can able to do it. So this is the storage server. Manage this iSCSI. Just connect it in the network only. OK, next. For example. Um, if someone is required, OK, someone. In my network, some server, some kind of server is required a 100 GB hard disk required 100 GB hard disk. OK, both are in a network only, so both are in a network. It required a 100 GB hard disk. So what I will do it. So I will take. A small portion. From any iSCSI disk in the disk bay only. I'll take for example 100 GB. <laughs> it is become very small. It's okay. Okay, so I will take this hundred GB. Take okay. So what I will do? I'll do it like this. So from here, I'll create this hundred GB. And I'll give this 100 GB to this. OK. This so automatically this 100 GB disk. Touch it here. OK. By picture after the uh, if you don't listen properly, uh, only you see the picture you don't understand. So point is. 100 GB storage in the iSCSI drive. Disk OK, so I'm controlling from a storage server. 
I'm controlling all this thing from storage server. I will how to access and all through network. This server or is this is a something like a server. Yeah. Server A required 100 GB hard disk. So what I have done? I request admin. I request admin. So I need 100 GB hard disk. The admin is the, uh, going through the storage server, created 100 GB hard disk and assigned the 100 GB hard disk to the server A. So SCSI, iSCSI is nothing but a storage bay which connects. Next to uh, network. Okay, so how to access with IP address network? Or is bay which connects to the network? I will reduce this size. OK, so then how to access the uh, by. Access. By. Uh, iSCSI. IP address. I. QN. Number. Lines. OK, it's a unique number. OK, the. the there is a two terminologies are there guys iscsi target one second Okay, uh, sorry. iSCSI target. What is iSCSI target? This is the target server. Next is iSCSI initiator. Uh, where I'm missing iSCSI initiator. This is initiator guys. Okay. In Windows 8 and Windows 10, even normal desktop also having a iSCSI initiator. Initiator is client. This is target. So I want to connect it to my server by IP address or IQN number or DNS name. Target name. So I will connect it. Okay. So this is iSCSI initiator. So in the target, I have to type like the IP address of target or target name. Okay, so this is the iSCSI initiator. Initiator. Actually, I is a small letter to represent internet. iSCSI target. ISCSI initiator. So what is the ISCSI initiator? Is ISCSI initiator. So you open this side. You open ISCSI initiator. You open the ISCSI initiator and you will tell where is the target. For example, this is the target. So this is iSCSI. Different targets are there. Means not 
target does not mean always the server. Target exactly say the uh, the storage name. Okay, a lot of terminologies are there, but just try to understand, guys. Normal iSCSI. Where is normal iSCSI? Oh, shift here. Normal SCSI connects to the server motherboard and uh, to the server motherboard we will connect multiple devices to the SCSI adapter. OK, it is purely depends upon the. System purely depends upon the. Server for example, you can see it is. Uh, you have a server. Inside this server only. Iscsi disk are there. Iscsi disk are there. Sorry, SCSI disk are there inside this server. Server is down. A server is busy. Small problem is there, na? So uh, to avoid that one, so we, what we are using. So what we are doing is we are using Iscsi. Iscsi means internet SCSI. Internet SCSI, this iSCSI box not depends upon any server or a server operating systems. It itself a box which contains a storage base like this, which contains a storage base, it, which contains a uh, which is a storage bay. We can able to insert the disk directly. OK, we can insert the disk directly. As I shown, this is the uh, SCSI. So you can see here it is. Health status also you can see there is a health status disk connectivity. Directly from outside you can able to pull out. OK, that is the one thing. Next, so storage server is used to control the iSCSI uh, storage um, uh, thing like they will create a, a SCSI virtual hard disk like uh, original disk is uh, for example, this is. Uh, 4 terabyte, but out of 4, I want only 100. So they will take the 100 and give it to the client. So OK, so the open the iSCSI initiator and connect with the target, then you will access the 100 GB directly connected to here so we can store the data. It's not folder sharing. It is like a, a disk sharing. Guys, try to understand this concept. Why? Because of you no, know, uh, some people yeah, I'm sorry, is talking all backwards world technology. Nowadays we are uh, having a uh, uh, what is that one? Uh, artificial intelligence, big big words only. People are uh, using always big big words only. I don't know without knowing a, a basic thing how people are speak all these things. No, I don't. Know. But if you go to AWS, EBS, a service is there called a. EBS service uh, that is called a elastic block service. Plastic. Block storage. OK, so AWS having a. S3 service. It is a simple. Storage. Service. Right because SSS. It is a S3 service. S3 service is an object storage. This is called a object storage, not file storage. It object storage means there is a S3 bucket. It's like a folder. The bucket name is there. It is nothing but like a folder. Inside a folder, you put a data in it. So that is a kind of object storage example. Okay. Elastic block storage EBS. Elastic block storage is a kind of block storage only. Example for a block storage. So this is block storage. iSCSI or SCSI is actually for a, it is a kind of block storage. Block storage examples are iSCSI, SAN. Is also a block storage. Okay, so 
so don't do not think like there is a uh, file level storage object level storage block level storage is there so block level storage object storage or object level storage both are good block level storage okay guys the simplest things if you know you will understand much easier so you have a server in a aws environment you want a, a specific at 50 gb disk for that one aws ebs elastic block storage you can attach the 50 gb uh, hard disk to the virtual machine or a particular project same thing only here i need a 100 gb i'm taking 100 gb from there okay so i hope you got the small small point here guys we can consider these are all uh, storage connectivity so uh, luckily he he asked a question and i didn't uh, uh, skip anything okay so look at uh, i explained about yesterday class uh, uh, about uh, what is server uh, different type of servers okay and here rack and blade servers just go through once again okay and uh, work group and uh, domain i didn't uh, re explain but i will i will do that one later but we are uh, jumped to from there to storage storage is also very important concept it is okay and i already i showed how sata pata uh, storage is are there you can see pata and sata. i will share some ppts to you about a, a storage related one okay uh, so then uh, you can able to understand uh, sata pata uh, differences <laughs> it is a very big one no problem so we'll uh, cut it put it here so then it is quite easy right and also try to find the uh, sata uh, interface and nvmv interfaces also it is also a storage here disk and also i, I told about a scsi uh, uh, storage small computer system interface don't forget small computer system interface it is a interface card to the server we can connect a multiple devices it is a hard swappable and i given explanation about a hard swappable and cold swap and also i explained about iscsi and i given a two type of storages in the cloud means aws storage guys um, take a break small break so we are uh, came to the storages okay i will explain the other storages okay what are the storages we will see a uh, storage types what are the storage type as we'll explain nas and san also okay and also uh, we'll see what is a raid if possible i will try to explain the raid and um, yeah that is enough uh, storage de devices storage types and device types both are there so i will try to devices are hard disk ssds scsi and uh, other things are like uh, um, tape drives those kind of things so we can device types also we'll try next part i will i will try to uh, explain what is the storage types if possible raid and other things this is also very good uh, very interesting topic okay so it's a uh, 1210 take a break come back by 1220 <laughs>